So now we know how to create tasks and link tasks and make the project start to hold together. But there is another little entity that needs exploring. And we can see that when you visit the task information and the predecessors tab in this little section called lag. Now the lag is the extra gap between one task and the next. So instead of creating a task and then having as its successor the next task, we can put a little delay in. Now that delay is called a lag. Now the reason that you might need a delay is for things like allowing the plaster to dry. When we order our furniture, there's a time before the furniture arrives. So we have to build all that into the project to make it realistic. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to keep to our plan. So how do we add in some lag? Well, firstly, we need to find the tasks that require some lag. So when we've plastered the walls, whatever succeeds plastering the walls is going to require a bit of lag. And we can see that we're going to fill the woodwork holes after we've plastered the walls. Well, that's not too much of an issue because we're not going to interact with the walls. So the task that follows on isn't a problem. Where we do need to make sure is that here, when we paint the accent wall, we've actually allowed enough time for the plaster to dry. So it's going to take three days to plaster the wall, but then we're going to need to allow the room at least three, possibly four days for the plaster to dry. So at the moment, there isn't a direct link between paint the wall and plaster the walls. We just effectively follow on. We're going to plaster walls, we're going to fill the woodwork, we're going to sand the woodwork, we're going to paint the woodwork. Now we need to add in another relationship. So let's use that in the task information box. As well as having paint the woodwork as a predecessor, we need to have plaster the walls as a predecessor. And we're going to follow on, not a problem. However, there needs to be a lag. If I'm saying that the walls require four days to dry, then I'm actually going to put for ED. So not just D for days, but E for elapsed days. The difference here between the D and the ED, if I put four days, that's four working days. And if we happen to hit a weekend, that's two days that we lose. Well, the plaster's still going to dry over the weekend. It's not going to think, well, it's Saturday and Sunday, let's stop drying. So I'm going to put E day, so that's four elapsed days. So that's four lots of 24 hours consecutively for the plaster to dry. And that will be added on to whatever other gap already exists between plaster the walls and paint the accent wall. That's OK. Now you can see here that then gets entered as 10 FS plus 4 E days. Now previously I've said that FS does not appear in the links. Well, it does if you add a lag. And then in your Gantt chart, you can see there's our paint the accent walls and we can see the other join is here. And that hasn't made much of a knock on effect because of all the other things that are happening, plus a weekend in between that really allows that plaster to dry. If we said the plaster really needed a lot longer, let's really swing this out so we can click into here and edit that for and let's make it an ace just for exaggeration. You can see that then has a knock on effect Although this task here, paint the woodwork, is not knocking on paint the accent wall, having to allow eight days for the plaster to dry here, even though it's elapsed day, so it's actual time passing rather than working days, that then knocks on this task. So I'll take that back to the proper four days. We're going to allow four days and that's it. Now the other thing that you'll notice until we save, when you make a change that causes a knock on effect to the start and finish date and the duration, those changes are then highlighted in project. You see here, these all start dates and finish dates have been changed by the little change we've done here of the elapsed date. That's caused a knock on effect to the duration of the prep room and a knock on effect to the duration of the whole project. So my new bedroom is now taking just a little bit longer. It's not a lot longer actually, it's part of a day, but it is a little bit longer. So it's great that you can see the knock on effect immediately graphically in front of you. So the lag is used to add on an extra delay. So it doesn't just go straight from one task to the next. Same with our buying new furniture and erecting a new bed. Well, we can't erect the new bed until the furniture's arrived. Well, after buying the furniture, there is then a four week delay before the furniture arrives. That is one heck of a delay. So in the erect new bed, I already have a link to the previous milestone, so that's the previous section. Well, now I need to add in a link to the buy new furniture. It's a finish to start. I need to buy the furniture before I can put the bed up. 
but then there is a lag to allow for the bed to arrive. And that's four weeks. And in this case, it's not four elapsed weeks, it's actually four weeks, because it takes four working weeks to get the furniture made and delivered. If there happens to be weekends and bank holidays in between, then that will physically take a lot longer. So it's not elapsed time in this case. So that's 4W, okay, that's going to have one massive effect on the project. And it now doesn't finish until the end of February, because we're having to wait for that bed. So part of your project plan might involve trying to get a faster delivery time, trying to make someone make a decision earlier on that bed, or sourcing the bed elsewhere. So we've seen here two lags. One for putting the bed up, so there's an extra lag for the delivery of the furniture of four weeks, four working weeks. And there's been a lag between painting the wall and plastering the wall of four elapsed days. Four elapsed days in time, regardless of whether that's working time or weekends, for the plaster to dry. That's adding a lag and exploring this new little option of E for elapsed time. And that can be put in any of the time elements in project. So you could do elapsed minutes, elapsed hours, elapsed days, elapsed weeks, elapsed months. 